A 150,000 kilogram rocket is launched straight up and the rocket motor generates a thrust of four times 10 to the six newtons. What is the rocket's speed at a height of 500 meters? Ignore air resistance and any slight mass loss. So the first thing I wanna do is to draw a boundary around my rocket. So this is the starting spot and then identify the forces. So there's um, in contact, there's a thrust force due to the fire um, that's created pushing against the air and the air pushing against the bottom of the rocket. So that's gonna be my F thrust. I've got the force of gravity, which is down. Uh, and so I wanna draw my free body diagram. I know my rocket is traveling up. So I know that there's a net thrust force up. So the thrust force has to be bigger than the force of gravity. Um, so I'm going to use the work kinetic energy theorem. So um, what I need to do is figure out my net force. So I've got a net force up. Um, and the net force, F net, is equal to the sum of the forces. So F net then is equal to the force of thrust minus the force of gravity. F net is equal to the force of thrust minus mg. And now I can plug in to calculate the force of thrust, um, and or the force, sorry, the force net is equal to the force of thrust, which is four times 10 to the six newtons minus m, which is 150,000 kilograms times g, which is 10 meters per second squared. When I do the math, I get F net is equal to 2.53 times 10 to the sixth Newtons. And now I wanna use the work, um, I wanna use the equation for work. So I know work is equal to um, F net, it's a vector, um, dotted with delta R. Oops. Dotted with delta, I did it again. Delta R, that's a vector. And now I can see that um, my R is, the path is only in the Y direction and my F net is in the Y direction. So if F net and the path are in the same direction, then my dot product just becomes the, um, the, the multiplication of the two. So F net um, times Delta X, Delta Y in our case, Delta Y. So, um, and this is in the Y direction here. Okay, so if I plug that in, then I'm going to have the work is equal to F net is 2.53 times 10 to the six Newtons times 500 meters. That's how high the rocket goes. And so work is equal to 1.265 times 10 to the ninth Newton meters. And now the problem asks me for uh, the rocket speed. So this is, right here is what I'm trying to find. So um, I'm going to use the equation to relate the kinetic energy to the work. And then um, I know that the kinetic energy is one half M delta V squared. And delta V, so work, delta V is equal to V final minus the initial, the velocity final minus the initial velocity. And I know the initial velocity starts out at zero. So this equation becomes one half m v final squared is equal to the work. And I'm looking for v final. So I need to multiply both sides by two and divide both sides by m to get rid of my mass on this side and the two on this side. And I get v final squared is equal to two times the work over the mass. And so V final, if I take the square root of both sides, I get two times the work over the mass, plug in the numbers, and I have two times 1.265 times 10 to the ninth Newton meters divided by 150,000 kilograms, take the square root. And when I solve for that, my V final is equal to 130 meters per second. So that means that 130 meters per second. So I start, my rocket starts at zero and um, the, the engine is fired. There's a thrust um, force that's bigger than the force of gravity. And so after 
uh, once it once it reaches 500 meters, the rocket is going 130 meters per second.